Hello, this is Ricardo Montalban. Fantasy Island will not be seen tonight, so we can bring you the following special, but we will be back next week at a regular time. Hope to see you then. So we're already in town and um, it's 740. So we're getting ready to start hitting some garage sales. I uh, just wanted to kind of break in and tell you guys about yesterday. I didn't film any yesterday, but uh, it was Friday and there was estate sales all over town. Um, there's, there's more in this other town that I go to today. And, um, but I went to three yesterday yeah they were good uh, i've the state sales around here are very hit and miss um really expensive usually as you guys know but yesterday was 25 percent off and it had some good stuff it was um it was kind of surprising i went to three and i left with something at every one of them so uh, i'll flash up a picture here of what i got Um, but some pretty cool stuff um, got a mr. coffee hot cocoa maker apparently these things are pretty sought after I don't know if they're if they're like if they're vintage or if they still make new ones um, I haven't done a whole lot of research I just looked at the comps yesterday but yeah around 120 sold 120 listed and they're going for anywhere from 75 to 125 and the one that I found yesterday is brand new. And um, you can tell just by the tape on it. It was just, the tape was kind of yellowing or whatever and it looked like it had ever been opened. And I got it for around $19, I think, after the 25% off, so that was cool. Um, I got some, I think they're called Rainbow Reef. Uh, if that's not right, I'll pop it up on the screen here. But they're the little, um, little battery operated fish that you can put in your pool I guess and they're pretty good size um, I got two of them that are brand new in the package and some of these go for 30 somewhere around there uh, I don't know if I have the ones that go for that much but um, I do have a couple of a couple of good ones that are have some good colors to them uh, so I think they should do good um, but I got those for I think six dollars each after the discount uh, at another sale, I got some cassette tapes, um, pretty good uh, artists, um, a lot of classic rock stuff. I got about 10 of those, and then I got some Memorex tapes that were sealed, uh, blank ones that are sealed. I figured I'd make my money back on that. I paid like $8 for everything, even if the other cassette tapes didn't work. <clears throat> um, I'm trying to think what I got at the other sale. Oh yeah, I got this, um, it's like for a microwave, it's called a micro go-round. And I don't know which model I have, but it was only $5 and I was 25% off of that. And those things are going for 50, uh, some of them. Probably 30 to 50, somewhere in there, depending on what model you have. And this is an older one, it's made in the USA. You wind it up and you put it in the microwave. And um, kind of works like the plate i guess maybe if you have an older style microwave that doesn't have one of those or something i don't really know um and then i got a um, a salad spinner um uh, pretty good i don't know how to pronounce the the brand it starts with a z but um has the pull cord on it so i got that for for also for five 25 percent off so it's pretty good pretty good stuff yesterday um i was i was pleasantly surprised from going to estate sales usually all every weekend there's there's one in this area and and i more times than not i come home with nothing or something very small that you know that may or may not be worth much so anyway uh, we're gassing up <laughs> Uh, we're gonna go hit some sales today. It looks like the maps 
looking pretty good, but I think we're just gonna just gonna freestyle. And see what we can find. Uh, sometimes that's that's better anyway. Some of these ones that are advertised, sometimes they they um, know what they got, you know, and you're gonna pay up a little bit for it. So I kind of like to go to one of the ones that are that are not advertised, you know, just see signs as you go. And usually I score pretty good at those. <laughs> This neighborhood sale and there's a lot of sales um, I've probably been to 10 or more already um, I got these Paw Patrol I don't really know I've heard Paw Patrol stuff can do good and there's this other one in here too these little cars uh, the lady told me what it is I have to look it up again I can't remember but I got all those for two bucks the whole bag and then I got all these toppers like uh, I think it's called good to go and these are really collectible uh, people usually lot them up and kind of group them together in in light categories I guess um, but there's a bunch of them in there she had them in a free box and I asked her if I could take the box and she was like oh, I would appreciate it if you didn't do that so I said well what if I just grab all the toppers out of this box and I'll just I'll just give you something for them so I ended up giving her five for all of these I don't know how many is in there 50 so, but there are two How to Train Your Dragon ones in there that I saw on eBay go for $35 for the pair. So that should be pretty good. I'll have to get them all out and group them together. But that was something I didn't know about. I didn't know these things existed. So they're all pretty cool. And I got a few other things and there's a little, some Scooby, Scooby bobbleheads, stuff like that in there too. So pretty good pickup. And then I got this, uh, Amazon Fire Stick for three bucks. Looks like they're going for somewhere around 20, maybe 15 to 20, something like that. Um, but we're gonna hit some more sales. There's uh, there's quite a few in this neighborhood. I haven't even made it to the main part of town yet. This is still kind of the outskirts. But uh, we're gonna see what else we can find. All right, so we just made it out of that neighborhood sale. Man, there's a lot of sales. Uh, there was one that was uh, the very last one I went to was an, it's called it an estate sale and uh, it was it was the entire house but uh, I'm so glad I went into a back bedroom where the closet closet was way back there in the back of the bedroom and I found some pretty good stuff uh, I like this Levi's shirt I'm not sure if it's like a vintage it's, just, it's got the printed on tag so it's probably not but I just thought it had the cool look to it and this is the very cool stuff. So, got some NASCAR shirts. These are all mediums, which kinda doesn't help, and it's a little bit harder to sell, but uh, super cool shirts. Uh, and a lot of them are new with tags. This one is not, but they are double-sided. And it looks like most of them were from 2000. This is like 2001 Winston Cup series. Um, this one does have the tag on it. Let's see that. I'm not sure if they're the valuable ones or not, but I just thought, why not? You know, being new, I gotta have some value.
2000 NASCAR series. A couple of them have Dale Earnhardt on them too. So, really, really nice shape. This one's got Dale on it. And this one is new with tags also. It's got the back design on it too. This one is really cool. This one's got the stripe down the side with the number three. And it's got the car on it that goes around the back. And it says the Intimidator on it. So that was some pretty, pretty good scores. I thought I was gonna get them for two bucks each and then when I got up there to check out, and these are from Kmart, so I'm not sure if they're like the really valuable ones or not. But um, when I got up there to check out, uh, I thought that I was going to get them for two. And the lady was like, oh, the collectible NASCAR shirts are $5. I was like, oh, okay, whatever. I'll do them for five. So, but still, pretty cool. And then uh, at that same sale, I got this kind of snakeskin nike hat of some kind i'm not really sure what it is tried to look it up didn't see anything it's got a little symbol on it here i'm not really sure what that is but i figured I'd give it a chance i've never seen one like that before and then in another garage sale before i got to the estate so i found this dark crystal it's in the clam show so these comps are kind of all over the place but i've seen some go for 20 30 bucks so I don't know if maybe the keywords are not right on some of the ones that are going cheaper, but we shall see. We'll look up comps and uh, see if we can get a better idea, but we're going to uh, head off to some more sales. I'm finally getting into the main part of town, so hopefully there'll be some more to hit. So I wanted to show you guys. I've been to a couple more sales uh, since the last time I filmed. Um, I've got I got three. I'm not gonna dig them out because they're back in the back of the truck. But I've got three Mikan bats, and I sold Mikan before, and these are the the Freak, and that's what I sold before, and they're they're pretty good. I, these are pretty dirty, and the grips are pretty tore up on them, but they were only a buck a piece, and I figured I couldn't go wrong with that. And then I got a, a tote of against my better judgment, I got a tote of Sports Illustrated magazines from the 70s. And I know they don't sell very good, but I, I like to look through them, and I'll just put them up as a lot whenever I'm done. And also there's some Street Machine magazines in there that might do pretty good from the 70s. I'll have to dig through them and see, but there is a bunch. I got the Hotel for $5, so I couldn't, couldn't pass that up. So at this other sale, though, this one sale I just left, I got all this Beatles stuff. I asked her what she would do on the whole box because she had them separately priced, but... Got some good cassettes here. Um, I got the whole box I got for 20. John Lennon's Imagine, uh, two of the anthologies, the uh, uh, Lost Tapes. Some of these I've never heard of, and I've seen a lot of Beatles stuff. Um, I got that one. Another, there's another. Oh, well, this is the anthology CDs. I didn't even know that was in there. So, and some VHS, uh, Alone and Together, and Help, and Beatles' first visit, first U.S. visit. I mean, these would be fun to watch if nothing else. Uh, Making a Hard Day's Night, and there's a picture of George and Julian Lennon. Like a, I'm really sure what that is. Type of book. Uh, John's last songs, People magazine, and us tribute to John Lennon, and then Beatles A to Z, which I looked up. And there's quite a few of those listed actually in there. I don't really go for much. It's the only one I really 
I've looked up other than some of the VHS and some of the some of the ones that are like new and sealed on eBay do pretty good, but these are all these are all used. So I don't think I'll lose any money. Probably won't make a whole bunch on it. I just thought it was cool stuff to have to put in the store. But uh, we're gonna see if we can hit a few more sales. It's almost noon. Yeah, it seems like everything's kind of drying up a little bit, but uh, we're going to start heading back to the house, and but we'll see if we can hit some more on the way. So this will probably be the last stop of the day. It was an estate sale. We had a lot of stuff in there, but a lot of it was overpriced too. Um, but I did find these. These are roller derby roller skates. They're pretty small. They're size 4, I believe, if I'm reading the tag right. But um, they do sell, and even the smaller sizes sell. So they're Rydell, I guess is how you say that. And the uh, style is Carrera. And they have these big wheels and trucks and stoppers and everything on them. So they're a little scuffed up on the front. But. Uh, I don't know if they're vintage or not. They're made in China, but I don't really see any new ones. A lot of the listings were pre-owned, so I don't know. We'll see. I think they had a they have kind of a cool look to them. Seems like the black ones are selling quite a bit. So 16, 35% off of that was the was the price today at that sale. So uh, if I don't hit any more. On the way home, I'll uh, throw up a uh, picture here at the end with what I got today.